Hey there, Gary Meek living in Sacramento. Coming to you guys today to talk about one of my favorite spots, Roseville, California. Uh, why is it my favorite spot? Probably because I live there. Uh, but you know what? Um, we've grown up kind of just in this area. My kids have um, lived in Antelope Citrus Heights, uh, and now we live in Roseville. And uh, just really like it. Uh, great place to raise a family. It is in the top 20 uh, in several different magazines and regional print that says, hey, great place to raise a family from an income standpoint, school standpoint, and family standpoint. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna share my screen right now. So I am jumping into my screen and this right here is Sacramento as a whole. Uh, and you're gonna see Sacramento's down here. And to get up to good old Roseville, you're gonna kind of leave through here, come up straight through 80, past Citrus Sites, and then right here you got Kirby or Douglas. And this is gonna kind of get you into this area. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys that. We're gonna scroll in a little bit uh, right here. And Roseville is an interesting place. It's actually broken down into three different zip codes. It's kind of a big area. Uh, we've got about 150,000 people here. So our population is fairly large and uh, we're gonna go right through this little pocket here. So right here along 80 is the break. And then we got kind of right through here is the next break. Um, and then right here actually is the newest break. Um, all of this entire area is the 95747. And this is really um, considered the um, West Roseville area. And this is West Park, which is still being developed. And we're gonna get into at a later time. Um, so this also is 95747. And then like I said, we've got this little pocket right here, which is 95678. And then we've got this great little area right here, which is 95661, which we're gonna jump into right now. So I'm gonna kind of jump into this pocket little area. See East Roseville Parkway, Johnson Ranch, Sierra Gardens. This right here is called East Roseville. Um, not maybe the oldest area, but it was developed more like 70s and 80s as you get to the down part. And then up here is more like 2000s. So kind of broken into two areas, but I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. And we're gonna zoom in a little bit here because I wanna talk to you guys about this area. And I'm gonna switch to satellite so you guys can see what's going on here. So we've got the 80 freeway that travels right down the center of it. Um, and then you'll see we've got all this pocket area right here along Douglas. This is all uh, really gonna be commercial, industrial, businesses. Uh, right along Douglas, we've got tons and tons and tons of businesses. Uh, that are going to be here there is going to be some shopping um, there is you know uh, going to be some restaurants some fast food gas station things like that but all through here is a ton of businesses and then actually this little pocket right here is going to be uh, one of the biggest uh, car dealerships in the area um, which is just um, Roseville Toyota CarMax they're all kind of combined in that one little spot but I want to kind of get started here as you come up along uh, 80, you have this little uh, street right here, this first little break off, and this is Kirby. Kirby runs down this little street and it's gonna come up to Rocky Ridge here and ultimately gets up to Douglas. Um, but right here, as you come into Kirby, you've got this little area right here, which is the other zip code. But right here, uh, we've got, this is the first of the medical facilities you're gonna find. This is a Kaiser facility. And this Kaiser facility was created um, many, many years ago. It was built in the 60s originally, but it has just had a massive renovation, fully updated, uh, five, six stories, underground parking, um, and then additional parking, a uh, great little spot. And one of the reasons that people move to the Roseville area is because uh, of the medical facilities here, but also because of the amount of jobs that are around the medical um, field. So there's this one right here. Like I said, I'm gonna move this around a little bit. You come down Kirby. Sunrise is one of the main thoroughfares. It goes through tons and tons of cities. It's an easy way for you to kind of cruise up and down and get from one city to another. Um, as you come down Kirby here, uh, we've got some uh, some shopping right in through this area. And then we've got some homes back here in the 70s. Anything from 1,300 square feet up to about 2,500 square feet. So uh, most of them built 60s, 70s, a little bit in the 80s. 
Uh, and then we've got Oakmont High School. This is the only high school in the 95661 zip code. Uh, it's ranked at a seven or an eight. It kind of tilters, uh, teeters and goes back and forth. Um, it's home of the Vikings. My daughter actually graduated from this high school. And um, they've got just about everything you can imagine. There's a pool, they have swimming, they have football, they've got baseball. Uh, they got a you know great little area. And right here is actually the Joint Union High School District uh, office is right there inside as well. We've got these other homes up in here, all, like I said, really 70s built. Uh, these are a little bit on the larger side. A lot of them have two car, uh, many have three car garages. And then I want you to kind of look through this little area. See all this green belt right here. This is Linda Creek and this is green belt. There is a ton of green belt. There is a ton of walking areas. Uh, there is just amazing opportunities, riding bikes, rollerblading, um, lots of different opportunities as you go through there. Um, we're going to continue down Kirby. Kirby comes down this backside right here. Uh, there is some uh, mobile home parks in here. There's some other little homes in there. But we're going to kind of cruise up through Rocky Ridge and we're going to get to this little pocket right here. Now, this is uh, an interesting place because this is Mighty Park um, and Mighty Park as a whole has got a huge background. Uh, it's actually the Mighty Indians um, and you'll see there's several baseball fields here. There's going to be walking trails. There is um, bike riding area, uh, but also in this regional park, there is um, batting cages. There's a skate park. Uh, there is a library um, right in here, the Maidu Community Center. So this is one of the pocket areas that people in this uh, eastern side of Roseville kind of congregate. Uh, there will be a lot of different um, things that go on here at the community center. There is stuff for seniors. Uh, people put on uh, presentations here, other business events. Uh, there is, in fact, the uh, oh, look at that Maidu uh, Park re Cricket Field, which I guess I didn't realize because I don't play cricket. And you've got Mighty Elementary School um, that comes through here. But there's also a lot of the original Maidu uh, Indian tribe is, um, you know, their land is still here. So there is a um, Maidu Museum and historic site. So you can go here. A lot of kids in the area will go on field trips right through this little uh, area. I know my daughter probably in like second or third grade, even though we lived in Antelope at the time, got to come here as part of her school. Uh, so that definitely was, uh, you know, something I got to take part in. And that's where I learned about all this great stuff. Um, I take my dog out here, we walk, I run. Um, there are some great little places to exercise along the trail. Uh, like I said, batting cages, soccer fields, everything you could possibly imagine is right in this little pocket area. Um, and then we got my new uh, area right here, part right here specifically, like I said, is gonna is actually called my new for this development. You'll see that Rocky Ridge comes up to Douglas and it was one of the areas I told you has a ton of businesses along this path. But right here, as you come out of Rocky Ridge, this main area is actually Kaiser Hospital. This was built within the last, uh, I wanna say about eight years and it is massive. Everything you could possibly imagine. It has emergency rooms. It has a uh, women's uh, birthing center. It has just your standard go in there and you know get your regular doctor's appointments, um, huge parking lots. And I'm just saying right over here was one that we were looking at that was um, Kaiser. Here's another Kaiser. And then actually we're gonna cruise up through Sunrise, which is one of the streets I told you guys about before. This gets up here. This is Adventist Health corporate offices. And then when you get up here, this is Sutter. So another medical facility. And these are another huge facility. My daughter was actually born here. Um, and then like I said, Adventist Health, this was built within the last couple of years. Um, we've got some great restaurants in the area. We've got Olympus Point. Um, this is a newer area for Roseville. Um, and then we've got all this little pocket area up here for Roseville as well. Um, right along the Sutter Medical Center. These are built in more in the 2000s, East Roseville Parkway. These are going to be a um, little bit newer homes, a little bit larger scale, more of an executive style home. Um, they are going to range probably from 600,000 to over a million, even though they're just track homes. This whole pocket really is going to be, you know, a little bit um, 
like I said, larger upscale. As we go through, I'm gonna scale back down just a little bit because I wanna make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, we get up here really ultimately into Rockland. So you'll see that this Roseville right here borders along Rockland. We talked about right here is uh, the Roseville Auto Mall. Uh, so need to buy a car, need to get your car worked on. There's right there. All right, so jumping back in, this is probably the highlight of Roseville. Not because uh, everybody goes here, but for my kids and just because I'm out of just getting out of that phase right now is this is Roseville Golfland Sunsplash uh, for four or five years. This was my kids hangout, my kids favorite place. Uh, we've been there with church groups. Um, it has got laser tag. It has got video games. It has got go karts. And of course, when we're hitting those hot summer days uh, in uh, in the summer, July and August, this is the place to be. Uh, 20 plus water slides, tons and tons of lazy river, uh, wave pools. Uh, kids will go here um, with you know their parents. They're hanging out as teenagers. Uh, I believe there are even some schools that take their kids there for you know end of year uh, type thing. So just great place to hang out. Um, like I said, all of Roseville as a whole really is noted as being uh, very very family oriented. It is. Um, Definitely a great place to raise a family. Uh, crime is considerably low. You can obviously check that yourself uh, based on crime stats. Um, there is Mighty Park we talked about, Kirby. Really, and here's the another thing I wanna kind of mention. So right up through here, we have the 80, as we talked about coming right through here, and then it comes up to 65. So 65 breaks through, and it's actually kind of the break between Roseville and this is Rockland up here. And then as we get a little further down, this is gonna be Lincoln through here, uh, but 65 and 80. So easy access, all of this East Roseville area is gonna be so easy to hop on a freeway, get on uh, 80 or 65, 80 will get you up into Auburn. Uh, you can go to Ikeda's and get a pie. They're fantastic. Uh, you can make yourself up into Tahoe, easy access to the snow. Um, you can go back down 80 and get right back into the uh, Sacramento. Uh, and then you can go 80 and then really go 80 towards the Bay Area and get to San Francisco within about two hours. Uh, you can get to the beach, uh, usually kind of cold, but you definitely can get into all that area. Um, so that was Roseville. That's East Roseville. That's 95661. Um, and like I said, it's got a little bit of everything. Uh, it borders on Granite Bay, Rockland, uh, Antelope, Citrus Heights. Um, so just real easy access to everything around town. And uh, like I said, that's 95661 Roseville. Um, hope that you guys uh, like this video. Got a little glimpse of what Roseville looks like. And um, I will see you guys in the next video when we're going to be talking about 95678. All right. Talk to you soon.